Hey guys, welcome back. This is Daniel Dallas and we go through GCC Mass Revision. So today we're gonna go through formula substitution and rearrangements and we have the first problem over there. So problem one, you have a particular circular sector area A and it's given by an expression. So obviously you see 1 over 4 pi r squared, that means it's not the complete circle, okay? Make sure you understand that. So R is the length of its radius. All right, so you need to find the area of the circular sector of the radius 6.2 centimeters. And the B part, you need to find, okay, the radius of a playground made of similar sector, which has an area of 120 meters squared. There are two questions, and you can go by your own, then compare with my explanation. So we start doing that. All right, so we've got a sector. And because you're given a formula 1 over 4 pi r squared, literally to say, if you remember that area of the circle is simply pi r squared. In this case, obviously, you have a quarter because you have one fourth, right, of the whole area. So that's why your sector area sector is simply a quarter of the area of the circle. But anyway, so you're given the formula. So the area of the circular sector of radius 6.2 centimeters. Okay, so particular sector and because you have of this circular sector in the question A, that means you definitely have the sector, basically quarter. So if you rearrange, so what do you actually have? You have basically the quarter, so if you set up that, as your sector, let's say that's your basically sector uh, circle in this case, and you want to have a quarter of that. That's the area of as a part. Okay, so in this case, you just simply need to plug radius 6.2 centimeter into the formula and just calculate. That's straightforward. So pi r squared, so you take pi you times 6.2 squared, then you divide by 4. So that how it works, you just go calculator and do that. So first you square it up, then multiply by pi and divide by 4. But in many cases you can do it in one line, so we simply write an expression and just proceed to calculations. Okay. So what I've got, I've got area to be equal 30.19 to two decimal place. So make sure you understand that what's happening with their units. In this case, you have centimeters. When you raise to the power of two, it becomes centimeters squared. So in the case you have different units, let's say you have centimeters, but you want to give your answer in meters squared. It's very interesting. So let's pretend that we want to use area in meter squared. So what to do in this case? You just simply know that each centimeter, so you can convert exactly right there, and this is the highly recommended. So if you convert radius into centimeters, you simply use the standard form, so it's gonna be 6.2 times 10 to the power negative two, because you understand that conversion into meters basically from centimeters is the same as by dividing by 100 or that in an index notation is going to be 10 to the negative 2. All right, so if you want to perform your area in meters squared, you just simply raise to the power not just 6.2 but along with 10 to the negative 2. So let's see how the formula works in this case. So I'm just trying to rearrange so that we have proper formula for when you plugged 6.2 to the negative 2 meters in this case and you'll get the following so pi times so you raise up 6.2 squared that's normally we have the same part however here we need to multiply by 10 to the negative 4 why because you know that's the index law and means power in the power means multiplication of powers in this case. So you just simply multiply two by negative two. All right, so you divide by four, and here we go, we can figure out area in meters squared. Now let's perform the action. So 
just simply it's going to be 30.19 and times 10 to the negative 4. But if you like, if you want to <clears throat> like uh, perform your um, your calculation, your answer in the way just decimals, not in standard form, you just need to write that this is simply 30.19, that's that part that you have before, and 10 to negative 4 as a multiplier is still not standard form, so if you want even more to present your answer as decimal, so you simply need to transfer four times backward your decimal point. So it's going to be 0, 0, 30. Let me see. One, so one, two, three, no more, I think. So 19, let's, ha let's have a look. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. So that's your answer in meter square. But you see, it looks really ugly. So what do you need to do in this case? You just better perform in the index notation. So what are you going to do instead of that? You just simply use the index notation and what it tells you guys, it tells you that you will have uh, the number a, so index notation one more time and remind you, is 8 10 to the power of n where a is between 1 and 10. So it's strictly less than 10 and more equal than 1. So in this case, you will transfer decimal point only one time so so that you get your a in proper manner so it's going to be two, two decimal <clears throat> places is going to be 0 0.2 you round up and in this case 10 is going to be so you grab basically so what you actually did you divide by 10 right so now you need to multiply by 10 so what it means it means that you grab one unit from there on the top so if you want to convert back right if you want to convert back so it simply means you need to grab one units from there and transfer like decimal point backwards it's going to be 30 point two and now you've got instead of negative three power negative four i hope you understand how it works okay so that's basically transformation and conversion units uh, by the way <clears throat> now what i'm going to do I'm gonna accomplish part B, so I diminish that and just move backward. So I don't need that right now. Okay, let me really squeeze that. Okay, so that I have part two. Okay, B, the radius of playground made of similar sector. It means it has the quarter of the, same, of the circle, uh, which has an area 120 meters square. All right. Now we have area in meters squared, and obviously you need to find radius in meters, okay? If you're given area in meters squared, so obviously it's easier if you not mention which units to use. So obviously it's easier to find radius in meters, all right? So what we're gonna do, uh, we need to rearrange. So question B is about rearrangement. So rearrange formula in order to express r so in this case radius is going to be a subject so fast track how to do this you've got a fractional equation so okay maybe better to put a okay so if i use that over one it's going to be pi r squared over four so this writing is much easier to perceive and understand okay how to express radius that's the shortcut. Look, guys, what do you actually need to do? So your radius square is right there. It's their single variable here. So what are you going to do? You use the approach for fractional equations and you simply put pi down to 1. So basically you multiply 1 by pi and now it's here in the bottom part. So 4 goes up and you stay with radius on squared on the right side. So that's the shortcut, what are you actually, how you can quickly rearrange that. So what do you have? 4a over pi equals to radius. But what right now radius squared, I'm not gonna use that because I'm immediately taking the square root of that. And now you have radius. So actually you normally need to write plus minus, but radius, is going to be more equal than zero so in this case 
minus doesn't work. So you use only plus. So that's why that's your expression for the radius. Right now, I think you understand that in most cases you have to deal with fractional equations. So in this case, you need to know how to resolve them. If you don't, if you are not sure, just come back and just try to watch my video dedicated to exactly how to cope with fractional equations in the topics of equations. You might find find it in my video set. All right. So now we're gonna go through calculations. So we've got that. So we plug in numbers instead of a area 120 meters. So 120 and over pi. And in this case, we can give the answer to two decimal places and meters, units or meters. So you take in the square root of meters squared, so hence you'll find meters as the units. That's the check number two. All right, so let's take that. So we take in the square root. The top one is four times 120, which will give you 480, okay? So it's going to be 480. And you divide in that by pi. So hence the answer and taking the square root of that. So what I've got is I've got 12.36 to two decimal place, and that's the answer. So hope you understand how to work, how to convert units. That was part A. It's already sold there. Basically, it's right there. Hope it's visible, guys, for you. So you you see that, okay? And that's the answer in the bottom. So I use the answer in centimeters squared, and then I show you what to do if you need to convert into meters squared, okay? How to cope with units. So then the part two, when you see rearrangements. So hope you like that. We have another problems that was pretty like easy level, easy stuff. It's even, it seems to me not really how I mess, just foundation. Make sure you understand how to work. That was Daniel Dallas. Please subscribe. Don't forget to press the smash and so the bell button to be notified about any updates I have. And I have it on almost a daily basis. So make sure you watch every single video. In this case, you will be really tuned up. See you later.